Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks. <laughs> Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, has decided to give Snooks another chance in public school before hiring a special tutor. As the scene opens, he's waiting for her to come home. Seeing that all has gone well, listen. School days, school days, dear old golden rule days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that must be my baby. I'm coming, Snooks. Hello, Daddy. Hello, darling. Well, how is school today? Fine. Good. Uh, come in here, Snooks. Why? Well, I've laid out a little homework for you. It'll help you get ahead in school. <laughs> I want to go out and play. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Now, here, I've written down two sentences. You read them. Mm -hmm. The hen has four legs. Who done it? Good. Now, what's wrong with that? Uh -huh. What's wrong with those sentences? The hen has four legs. Who done it? He didn't done it. The angel done it. No, no, it should be he did it. How did he do it, Daddy? Do what? Get four legs. Oh, nobody's got four legs. Oh, I he's got four legs. I'm talking about a hen. No hen has four legs. Why? Oh, forget it. We'll do the homework some other time. Go out and play. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I gave you a quarter this morning to get some exercise books. Did you buy them? Mm hmm. Did you buy those books for the quarter I gave you? No, Daddy. The money fell down the sewer. Snooks, look at me. Are you sure you didn't spend that money on candy? No, Daddy. Then what's that on your face? It's my nose. No, I mean around your mouth. That's chocolate. How did it get there? I fell down and there was chocolate on the sidewalk. There's something fishy about this. Now, I'm going to find... Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Higgins. Miss Grubb. Oh, yes, my daughter's teacher. Oh, what? Why, of course I sent her back to school this morning. I think I'll go now. Stay here, you. Hello. Uh, hello? Yes. Uh, oh, she didn't, eh? Well, thank you, Miss Grubb. I'll attend to her. Goodbye. So? Oh. Well, Snooks, I don't intend to mince words with you this time. You haven't been in school today, have you? Mm -hmm. Now, don't stall. I know you played hooky. Who told you, Daddy? A little birdie told me. Was the birdie's name Miss Grubb? Yes, the birdie's name is Miss Grubb. <laughs> don't believe her, Daddy. She's a bigger liar than me. Out with it. Why didn't you go to school? I did go, Daddy. I thought it was kind of funny coming home so early. It's an hour earlier than usual. Is it? Yes. Now, why are you home so soon? Uh, they let us go home because... Because what? Because teacher got a new baby today. Snooks! Your teacher's not even married. She's going to get married tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's why they let us go home, Daddy. And I don't have to go for two more days. Why not? She had triplets. Oh, now you've got to confess that you didn't go to school. Why? Because I know you didn't. Oh, don't you see, Snooks? All I want is the truth. I promise you I won't lose my temper if you tell me the truth. All right. I'll tell you the truth. Well, go ahead. What would you do if I played hooky? I'll give you the licking of your life. I went to school. Now, Snook, do you remember you promised never to play hooky again? Mm-hmm. And I promised if you did play hooky, I'd give you a spanking? Mm-hmm. Well? Well, I didn't keep my promise, so you don't have to keep yours. And you do admit you didn't go to school today. I tried to go, Daddy, but I couldn't. Oh, why not? Because three eagles wouldn't let me. What three eagles? What did you say, Daddy? You said three eagles wouldn't let you go to school. Well, I'm waiting. I'm thinking, Daddy. Oh, brother, this is the best one yet. You like it, Daddy? No, I don't like it. Now, what about those three eagles? Just as I was going into the school, they chased me away. Oh, stop it. You can't make me believe any excuse about three eagles. Will you believe it about two eagles? No. <laughs> oh, one eagle? 
I won't believe it about any eagle. Don't you like eagles, Daddy? Now, look. How dare you tell me an eagle stopped you from going to school? Why, there isn't an eagle in this whole part of the country. Well, it was an awful big sparrow. No, I've had enough of this. Me too. Goodbye. Now, stay here. I'm not through with you. I want you to tell me the truth. You understand? The truth! All right, Daddy. Now, why didn't you go to school? A lion ran after me and chased me right into a candy store. Oh, a lion! And where did this lion come from? From the circus. Circus? There isn't any circus here. Yes, there is. I've seen the posters. Oh, those posters were left over from last year. So was the lion, Daddy. <laughs> All right. So a lion chased you into a candy store. You believe me? Oh, sure. I believe that eagle stuff, too. Then why are you taking off your slipper? Because there's a kangaroo in my toe. Ha, 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 Go on with your fantastic story. What did you do when the lion chased you into a candy store? I had a nice cream soda. So that's where my quarter went. But I didn't drink it. Why not? Because four more lions jumped on me, Daddy. And then what happened? I got killed. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Snoop? Kiss me, Daddy. How could you tell me such stories about lions? Why, you know you never even saw a lion. Yes, I did, Dad. Where did you see a lion? The lady next door has one. And that's the one that chased me. The lady next door has a lion. Mm -hmm. Snoop, you know very well that's nothing but a little yellow dog. It looks like a lion. Now, I want you to kneel down this instant and pray for forgiveness for telling so many fibs. All right, Daddy. Now get down. Now pray to heaven to make you an honest child. Three eagles and four lions. <laughs> oh. I'll finish, Daddy. And did you pray? Uh huh. And the angel said, "I forgive you, Snow." The first time I looked at that yellow dog, I thought he was a lion too. I give up. <laughs> Now, Warren Hull has a very special guest. Right you are, Bob. It's Mr. C.N. James who's going to tell you a story. Friends, Mr. James is vice president of Western Air Express and the man who flew the first airmail and the first passengers into Los Angeles in 1926, just 13 years ago next week. Welcome, Mr. James. Good evening, everybody. And I want to tell you something that happened in one of our planes the other day. Let's suppose we're at the airport in Los Angeles. All aboard! Western Air Express, main liner, eastbound. All aboard, sir. Have I got time to get a cup of coffee? No, sir. We're taking off right away. But you can get a cup of coffee in the plane. Oh, can I? Thanks. Say, stewardess, that was a swell cup of coffee. What kind is it? I'd like to get some of that to take home to my wife. Why, it's Maxwell House, sir. Maxwell House? Why, we used to use that years ago. It was always good, but... Oh, but this is wonderful. Well, this is the new Maxwell House. They've improved it marvelously, you know. I heard that happen last week, and I was pleased because we're very proud of the meals we serve aloft on the Western Air Express. We were the first airline to serve those meals, and right from the start, we've had Maxwell House exclusively. We have many important people in our planes, movie stars, business executives, and naturally, they want the best in coffee. We certainly get a lot of compliments on the new Maxwell House. Well, thanks, Mr. James. And friends, it is a fact that more and more people every day are discovering the new Maxwell House coffee. For now, you find this famous coffee still more marvelously improved. First, a way has been found to enrich the original Maxwell House blend still further. So today, it's even richer, smoother, more satisfying than ever before. Second, there's a new way of roasting called Radiant Roast, which roasts each coffee bean evenly all the way through. Now, this way, there's no chance of bitter coffee due to parching, no chance of weak coffee due to under-roasting. Instead, you get all the true natural flavor and goodness of this superb new blend every time. So, friends, if you haven't tried Maxwell House lately, get a pound tomorrow. With your very first cup, you'll taste the difference. You'll see why millions of people everywhere are saying the new Maxwell House is now, more than ever, coffee that's good to the last drop. 